Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. And in the last part, I asked you guys to pick a starter for me. And the winner is... Mudkip, the Mudfish Pokemon. I didn't even have to count, because Mudkip just blew everything out of the water. You, you see what I did there? It's like... Because Mudkip's a water-type Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. Now, I, I just gotta warn you guys, this battle is the hardest battle in, like, any of the Pokemon games. Like, see, I, I'm already getting my ass kicked. I already missed. And, oh my god. Wow, this this battle is just so hard. I mean, oh my god. It's, it's painfully challenging. I mean, just tackle it so much and it never dies. Because it's a stupid little Zigzagoon. I don't even, and it keeps using Growl. Such a hard Pokemon. Stupid Zigzagoon. Wow, what are you doing? You're not gonna win by growling at me. And h how does growling at me make me... make my attacks hurt less? That makes no sense. Ugh, stupid Zigzagoon. And... There we go. That long, painful battle is finally over. Alright, so 17 experience. Did quite a bit. Ooh. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Haha, <laughs> you were jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Ash. This is not the place to chat, so come back to my Pokemon lab later, yeah? So, Ash, I heard you so much from you from your father. I heard you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with the plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, yes. Thanks for rescuing me. I liked you have that Pokemon you used earlier. And we received the Mudkip. And we can you give it a nickname. So I already thought of a great nickname. And uh like I can't fit it uh like all, so I have to spell muddy M U D Y instead of M U D D Y, but whatever. The nickname is The Muddy Waters. And if you don't know what that is, Muddy Waters is a guitar player from like the 60s, I believe. It's it was a long time ago. I'm not entirely sure where. I mean, he was a pretty damn good guitar player. So okay, so he's like, "Do you want to go see May?" I'm like, "Okay, whatever." Great, May should be happy to get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer, or I can teach her what it means to become a trainer. I mean, I'm just I'm, I haven't even started this game yet. I'm already a great trainer. I already defeated one whole Zigzagoon. I mean, I I'm sure May hasn't even beaten a Zigzagoon yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch the tech speed <coughs> to fast, just because I can, and it's better that way. Let's see, what does this guy have to say? Wild Pokemon jump at you in the tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go and search. Okay, that was pointless. Wow, first step and we get a battle. <laughs> uh, okay, first wild Pokemon battle is a Wurmple. And Wurmple is a horrible Pokemon. It can evolve into one of either Cascoon or Silcoon, depending on... I think gender, I don't remember though. And then that Pokemon evolves into either Beautifly or Dustalk, which are both horrible Pokemon in my opinion. So, yeah. Okay, first battle. It's probably like the only wild battle I'm going to show for a while. But, okay, so we have a long journey ahead of us until the, into the next town, so let's get braced for that. Okay, we're here. And... Let's talk to this chick. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Can, can I get you to come with me? Okay, so she tells you to follow her. Or he tells you to follow him. I don't even know what he or she is. So she just gives you a potion for basically no reason. And uh, she says potions are better than Pokemon Centers, so she's retarded. Or he's retarded. God. Okay, so here we are on Route 103, and... Let's see. Uh, okay, so we have to go up here and fight our rival for the first time. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi Ash! I see my dad give you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what it's like to be a trainer. Oh, okay. So she picks the Pokemon that's like has the typing advantage against you, and uh, 
uh, yeah, so if you pick Mudkip, she'll kick Trico. If you pick Trico, she'll pick Torchic. And if you pick Torchic, she'll pick uh, Mudkip. Now, if I didn't, like, mention uh, Trico, I mean, not Trico, uh, Mudkip right now is a water type Pokemon. And once it evolves, it becomes part water and part ground, so that's basically why I named it that, if I didn't clarify. And 69 experience. <laughs> 69. And we learned Mud Slap, which is a decent move. And, uh, Trico, I'm pretty sure its whole evolve form is pure grass. And Torchix, uh, after it evolves, it becomes part fire and part fighting, so. Yeah. Okay, so he talks about how the Pokemon loves me, and I can be friend Pokemon, whatever. Alright, so she tells us to follow her. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at, uh, the new move. Uh. Mud Slap. Only 20 power. I could have sworn to a lot more than that. But. Uh, well, we haven't even looked at, like, his yet. Okay, so he's water type. He's number 007. His ability is Torrent, which powers up uh, water types. T water type moves when he's below, I think, one third of his health. So. Yeah, and his stats, I guess you could see him, but they don't really matter because they're not that good yet. And I'm going to heal real quick before we go. Alright, so now we can sneak past her. Oh man, she saw us. Stupid slut. Alright, so she tells us to come back home with her, whatever that means. And so, you don't have to run into any wild Pokemon on the way back, just hop the fences. I can make so many racist jokes right now. And have some fat guys walk in, so... Make sure he's not in your way, because he'll take up a lot of space. Oh, hi, Ash. Oh, crap. I don't even remember what voice I used for him earlier. Whatever. <laughs> but, uh... So he gives you a Pokedex. He ordered it for research, but he wants you to have it because he's a nice person like that. Or so he thinks. So we can... And she's talking about catching rare Pokemon, but for some reason you can't... For some reason she thinks she can find rare Pokemon in these routes. And Professor Birch is talking about being a farmer and whatnot, so May gives you some balls. You can take that how you want, but I guess they're pretty useful if you want to catch Pokemon, but uh, I guess the way she probably uses them, I don't think are the right way, if you ask me. But, you know, it's her Pokeballs, and I honestly don't want to use these, but yeah, I guess I'll have to. Okay, so your mom stops you on the way out of town. And she'll be like, oh my god, your Pokemon is so sexy. And then she gives you shoes. And they're not any shoes, they're running shoes. And they're not just any running shoes, they're running shoes that come with instructions. Because someone doesn't know how to run. So basically, just push B to run around. Or hold B while walking to run around. Like that. And... Let's see. Uh, stupid ball Pokemon. Okay, so... Let's see, now what do we have to do? Let's talk to this guy. I finished sketching the footprint. Okay, yeah, I forgot to I forgot to show you this guy. He's actually like standing right here, like before you fight me. And he's like, don't go any further. I, I'm sketching out tracks of wild Pokemon. And they're they'll go away if you step on them, but they're actually end up being his tracks. So yeah. So he's retarded basically. And this guy is our second battle, first battle besides our rival, and he has one Pokemon, which is a Poochiana, which is actually a pretty good Pokemon, honestly. You can catch him right above uh, your hometown of Little Root, and if you want to use it, I would recommend them, actually. They're not bad once they evolve into a Mightyena. They're dark types, which uh, are decent type types, I guess, but... <clears throat> Actually, probably I'm gonna get a dark type. It's gonna be like part dark, part something else. But you'll see when I get it. Arg, I lost. What's with all these people making pirate sounds in these games? I mean, n none of these guys are actually pirates. It's so stupid. Our eyes met. I will take you on my bug Pokemon. All right, so this is our first bug, bug uh, catcher of this game, bug catcher Rick. And these guys are really annoying, especially when they get like. Their bee drills and whatnot, and I guess dust toxes and beautifies. And this Wurmple's retarded and uses string shot, which is a horrible move. 
It's all to just slow you down. Kind of like one menu though. But man, it's like the fifth time I've like said something bad about women in this LP. And it's only the second part, <laughs> but whatever. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, kill this Wurmple with tackle. And level eight. And okay, oh, we have one more Pokemon. Are you kidding me? I hate bugs. I'm just gonna use. Months left for some change. Oh wow. <laughs> I totally forgot that it wasn't effective. I guess that's what I get for being stupid. And oh crap, stupid purple. Just tackle it. And oh, a critical hit, nice. But oh my god, we're running out of time, so next time we want to play Pokemon Emerald, we will do stuff. See you next time.